There's no business like show business Like no business I know Everything about it is appealing Everything the traffic will allow Nowhere can you get that happy feeling When you are stealing that extra bow There's no people like show people They smile when they are low Even with the turkey that you know will fall You may be stranded out in the cold Still you wouldn't change it for a sack of gold Let's go on with the show Welcome to sunny California and welcome to the world premiere of John Travolta's new film, The General's Daughter. The press is out in force, and for the first time on the red carpet, Xenu TV was there, because this premiere had a very special guest in attendance. It's me, Xenu! Yes, Xenu, the intergalactic overlord who blew us all up 75 million years ago. But Hollywood has always been a forgiving town, and they welcomed Xenu back with open arms. Hey, I'm back. I'm big, Zeno. Hollywood premieres are big events, and we wanted this one to be one that John would not forget. And we must not have been the only ones to feel that way, because minutes after we arrived, this fella came out of the theater to take our pictures. Yes, it was quite a festive evening that made us all feel like operating fakes. Well, the festivities were about to begin, so we took our positions. I had the patented Minton cam right at the end of the red carpet at the front door. And Zinjafar planted himself a few feet away with his rather subdued, understated sign. I must say that the sign was hard to miss. It was right there at the front door to the theater, and everyone who passed by had to look at it. And then the stars started to arrive, and boy, did I have a great spot. Here's James Cromwell from Babe. The stars would start at the other end of the line and work their way down to here. That meant that John Travolta was going to wind up here, right in front of the Xenu TV camera. Zenu is the evil overlord who blew us up 75 million years ago when Earth was known as Tikiak. Wow. That's OT3, really? according to L. Ron Hubbard. Okay. Uh, I'm so confused now, I didn't know I could spell my name. Spell it X-E-N-U. By the way, you are great on Howard Stern. Oh, thanks. More fun than a barrel of milk. Mr. Cromwell. You're terrific, Mr. Cromwell. You're on Xenu TV, by the way. Xenu TV. Ah, great. Covering the world of Scientology. I love this guy. He looks at the sign and says, this is bullshit. And now the big moment has finally arrived. John Travolta is here. It won't be long now. John's gonna be coming right over to me, right to my camera. I'll be able to ask him about Lisa McPherson. I'll be able to ask him about OT3. What? 
John has turned away and run the other direction. The head of security comes over to explain. John would have come to sign autographs except for one thing. That sign. Oh, I'm sorry, why didn't he come over? Because of that because sign. Of that sign. I knew it. Well, the crowd wasn't happy about this news, and several people got very irate. And looking back, perhaps I was a little bit too harsh on Zinj myself. You suck! And thanks for fucking things up. Yeah, you suck, buddy! Hey, hey, don't be out here when they come out. You suck, man. Because you know what I do? I'm an autograph dealer. You're out here when they come out, we're going to have problems. And I guarantee you there's five other dealers that will have words with you. Remember that? He's a brave man. Hey, remember that cop that showed that pole at that guy's ass in New York? Want to know what it feels like? Because you got the pole that'll be going up the ass. You're out here. Trust me. Just try me. Don't, don't be costing us money, dude. Hey, now this guy gave us an idea. We were planning to leave, but instead, we decided to stick around till the stars came out. Down this pit. But... Oh, yeah. We're going to have to stay in the pen until the crowd disperses. You cannot leave the pen to chase somebody you didn't get. Okay, James? Uh, I just got you, yeah. Jay, I'm just, I just saw you, buddy. I'm just, he's got a gentle daughter hat. So we're going to put you guys in. Good luck. This time we had a new game plan. I was going to stay here with the camera, and Zinj would stay across the street. I want to do something about that guy across the street. Well, if he does something to make John not sign, I swear. So we were all prepared. I had my camera ready, Zinu was in hiding, and Zinj was across the street. But still, security was in an uproar. I decided I'd better send Zinjafar away. Hey, pal. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you. You're ruining it for all of us. Yeah, so I heard. Those people over there are pretty pissed, and I don't blame them. Yeah. <laughs> Travolta wants to come out and sign autographs, but he's not going to do it if you're standing here. Oh, jeez. Hey, look at me, buddy. I thought he was an OT, man. <laughs> how, come, how come he's letting a wog be at cause over here? Listen, you rat bastard. You're ruining the whole event. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know what I think you should do? I think you should leave. Well, you know, I think they probably leave, think that buddy. too. Leave, buddy. Hit the road. <laughs> Jack. Beat it. Okay. What did you say to him to make him leave? Oh, I just told him, oh, sorry, it was shy. Hey, I just said, uh, you know, you should beat it. Hey, yes, he had his fun. And now the stars are coming out. Here's the general's daughter, her own self, Leslie Stevenson. Oh, Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm new at this. And here's producer Mace Newfield, who's produced other wonderful films such as The Hunt for Red October. And James Cromwell doesn't disappoint the fans, but where's John? Take a look at the far end of the street. Travolta slipped out the other door. And this time, it was because of me. It's not coming out because of the camera. Oh, eat it. Oh, oh, the camera. Take it down. Take down the camera. John's, John's left. John's left. John didn't want to be around the camera. Yeah. If I leave, will he come out and talk to the fans? <laughs> I will leave and he will do that. Get a picture you know, he won't come out? That's Too late. Right. It's already gone. And so that was it. The end of a fabulous night in Hollywood. Tinseltown may never see the likes of it again. At least until the opening of Eyes Wide Shut. Until next time, I'm Mark Bunker for Xenu TV. Let's go on with the show.